Welcome to the data analysis tutorial for CFX Manager software version 3.0 using Prime PCR assays and panels. This tutorial offers several options from working with Prime PCR run files to data analysis. To facilitate gene expression analysis, a Prime PCR run file can be imported into CFX Manager software before, during, or after a run is complete. The run file contains the name and location of each target on your plate. By importing this file, you do not have to input this information manually and can quickly begin gene expression analysis once your run is complete. From the Prime PCR website, download the Prime PCR run file that is specific for your plate that you're about to run. Drag this file from the download location onto the main window of CFX Manager. The Run Setup window will open on the Start Run tab. Once an instrument has been selected, you can begin your run by clicking Start Run. To view or make changes to the protocol at this time, click the Protocol tab and select Edit Selected. Prime PCR assays have been validated and run optimally using the default protocol. A window will appear advising you of this. Click OK to continue with edits or cancel to close this window and return to the Protocol tab. By default, a melt step is inserted at the end of the amplification step so that when a run is complete, the presence of nonspecific reaction products can be monitored. While not recommended, you can remove this step by unchecking the Include Melt Step box. This will reduce the total runtime. The Plate tab displays a preview of the plate layout for your sample types. You can edit the plate layout at this time if needed. After confirming instrument selection, start the run by clicking the Start Run button. Use the default data file name or type a new one and save it in the appropriate location. Once the run has started, the Run Details window will be displayed. The Run Status tab shows the current step for the protocol being run. The process of amplification can be monitored from the Real-Time Status tab. From the Settings menu, select Baseline Threshold. The cycles used to establish a baseline for your traces is automatically calculated by default. If there are traces for which the baseline is not flat, change the cycles used for this determination by clicking User Defined and manually entering the values for specific wells. To adjust the threshold used for calculating the CQ values, select Log Scale and then click and drag the threshold line to the desired location. The threshold should be positioned at least one log above the background, but below the region in which the fluorescence is starting to plateau. Prime PCR plates contain several controls that should be evaluated prior to proceeding with gene expression analysis. Positive PCR control assay. The Prime PCR positive control assay is designed to qualitatively assess the performance of a PCR reaction associated with a single sample. The assay may also be used to compare the relative performance of the PCR reactions associated with different samples. DNA contamination control assay. The Prime PCR DNA contamination control assay is designed to determine if genomic DNA is present in the sample at a level that may affect PCR results. The assay may also be used to compare levels of genomic DNA contamination present in different samples to determine if PCR results may be affected. RNA quality assay. The Prime PCR RNA quality assay is designed to determine if RNA integrity may adversely affect PCR results of a single sample. The assay may also be used to compare the relative RNA integrity between different samples in order to determine if PCR results may be affected. Reverse Transcription Control Assay The Prime PCR Reverse Transcription Control Assay is designed to qualitatively assess the performance of the reverse transcription reaction associated with a single sample. The assay may also be used to compare the relative performance of the reverse transcription reactions associated with different samples. For more information about Prime PCR controls, consult the Prime PCR Instruction Manual. To check amplification reaction specificity, click the Melt Curve tab and examine the melt curves for each target. There should be only one major peak and the melt temperature should typically be above 75 degrees Celsius.
Whether your experimental study is contained on one plate or across multiple plates, the data analysis tools function the same. In this example, we'll demonstrate a multi-plate analysis referred to as a gene study. To create a gene study, select New Gene Study from the File menu. Select Data Files to add. Select multiple files at once by clicking and holding down the Shift or Control key if the files are not adjacent. Begin Gene Expression Analysis by clicking the Study Analysis tab. The bar chart displays relative expression in a chart and spreadsheet view. Change the color of bars in the chart by opening the Experimental Settings window and then clicking in the Color column. Choose another color for a target from a window that appears. Select an analysis mode in the bar chart settings pane. Choose relative quantity to quantify samples relative to the lowest CQ value for that gene of interest. Choose normalized gene expression to normalize the data using your reference gene. There are two options for how the data is graphed. Relative to zero graphs the data with the origin at zero. When relative to control is selected, the control sample is given a value of one and all other samples are plotted relative to this value. This option makes it easier to visualize up and down regulation. Select a control sample from the drop-down menu. There are additional chart settings available by selecting the checkbox. Select one or more reference targets that will be used to calculate normalized expression from the experimental settings window by clicking in the reference column. If your prime PCR plate contains any of the three reference targets that are included on pathway plates, GAPDH, TBP, or HPRT1, these will automatically be selected as references by CFX Manager software. Exclude targets from the display by deselecting them from the Show Chart column. Select the Control Sample by choosing it from the Control column of the Samples tab. If all of the bars do not fit in the bar chart window, use the scroll bar to scan through your data. The control bar can also be used if there are more targets than will fit in the spreadsheet pane. In addition to the bar chart, there are four additional types of data analysis available in the Study Analysis tab. They are Clustergram, Scatterplot, Volcanoplot, and Heatmap. The Clustergram combines a color-coded heatmap with a dendogram, a tree diagram that depicts hierarchical clustering. Samples and targets that have similar levels of expression are grouped together. Data can be clustered by both target and sample, by one of those alone, or by none. Click and drag the slider to adjust the size of the clustergram. The values displayed are averages of replicates. Click this box to split out the replicates. Click the appropriate box in the left-hand column of the spreadsheet to deselect targets. The scatter plot displays the normalized expression of an experimental sample versus a control sample. In the plot, Data is color-coded based on whether there is an increase or a decrease in expression for a target in the experimental sample relative to the control sample based on the position of a threshold. Increased relative expression, or upregulation, is indicated by red, decreased relative expression, or downregulation, by green, and no change in expression by black. Select the appropriate samples for analysis using the drop-down menus. Adjust the regulation threshold by entering a value in the box or clicking and dragging the threshold bars within the plot.
In addition to normalized expression, the spreadsheet also contains values for regulation and regulation compared to threshold setting. When individual data points in the plot are moused over, the corresponding line in the spreadsheet is highlighted. Conversely, positioning the cursor over a line in the spreadsheet will cause the corresponding plot data to be highlighted. The volcano plot depicts the relative normalized expression of an experimental versus control sample and indicates statistical significance. Use the drop-down menus to select the appropriate samples for analysis. As in the scatter plot, upregulation is indicated by red, downregulation by green, and no regulation by black. Statistical significance is determined by the p-value, which is the probability of an observed result happening if no real correlation exists. This value is calculated for all control and experimental samples that contain at least two replicates for each target. Note that triplicates are recommended to determine proper significance. In the spreadsheet, the values within a column can be sorted by clicking the arrow adjacent to that column's heading. The p-value threshold can be adjusted by entering a value in the window or clicking and dragging the threshold line. The regulation threshold can be changed in a similar manner. Data points that are above the p-value threshold line and are either red or green are regulated above the threshold level and are statistically significant. These targets are promising candidates for further investigation. In a heat map, normalized relative expression for each well is depicted by a color-coded square. Red indicates an increase in relative normalized expression or upregulation of a target, green downregulation, and black no change. Use the drop-down menus to select the appropriate samples for analysis. Adjust the size of the image by clicking and dragging under the slider until the appropriate size is reached. To split out and display replicates, check this box. If there's more than one plate being used for data analysis, select the one to analyze from the drop-down menu. The Results tab combines gene expression calculations from all the analysis tabs into a single spreadsheet to facilitate comparison of these values and to ease data export. Choose the control sample to be used in calculations by selecting it from the drop-down menu. As a consequence, you will notice that the relative normalized expression and regulation values for this sample are 1, which is to be expected. To view the data analysis formulas used to calculate the values shown in the spreadsheet, click the Help icon. Once you are satisfied with the data analysis settings and are ready to generate a report, choose this option from the Tools menu. The report window opens and you can edit the report as desired. Note that the default study analysis export is the bar chart. By selecting the checkboxes for the cluster gram, scatter plot, volcano plot, and heat map, we'll add this data to the report. This concludes the tutorial for CFX Manager Software version 3.0 using Prime PCR assays and panels. 